What's up guys? We just got down here. We're in Big Pine Key, Florida. This is the rental house. It's actually pretty nice, much better than last year in comparison because got the beautiful boat right there on the dock. I'm so, so hyped to get out on the water. Um, can't wait to share some good footage with you. As you can see, it's not awesome today, so we may not get out until tomorrow, but as soon as I have something to share, you'll be the first to know. Alright, so we're out at Loop Key. It's a beautiful day. It's a bit rough, as you can see. Probably two and three footers, but my sister and I are gonna go down there and see what we can find. Welcome back to Sea Spear Salt. We're gonna do another catch and cook. I put together a chronicle of the best highlights from underwater as well as the best spearfishing highlights. Um, we started the day off at Lu Key. I mean, look at that barracuda. It's about four feet long. For those of you who have never been, this place is an absolute metatropolis. The species are so vibrant, everything is healthy. It's been protected since the 1980s, and you can tell. You can see the Goliath grouper making a run for it. Those things get up to about seven, eight hundred pounds, so the one you're looking at is a juvenile at best. All of these dives are in the 20 to 28 foot range. I was just getting back into it. I hadn't been in the water for about six months, so it's good to go slow and warm up, have someone there. All right, so this is my first successful dive in terms of fish. It was actually on the Gulf side, and unfortunately I'm getting used to the GoPro, so it's not a perfect shot, but uh, you get the idea. For those of you who don't know, this is a hogfish. It happens to be my favorite type of fish. They're phenomenal. It's very common to find them kind of chomping at the ground like that. And there's a shortage of them because they're actually so easy to shoot. Please forgive me here, but uh, these are four clips of four not-so-successful shots on fish. And finally, number four. This one wasn't actually an outright miss. It was a good shot, but these fish are, the flesh is so weak. The spear went all the way through it, and then the cable tore through the flesh. So, in a genuine effort to fulfill the cook end of this video, 
Uh, I picked up the rod and reel and put down the spear gun. Yeah, you probably have no shrimp. There you go. Small fish. So small. Nice yellowtail, though. They sure are pretty. And I get to reuse the shrimp. My sister bagged a nice porgy right here. I haven't hit yet. Oh, I got a good fish here. I got a good fish. Nice fighting. Well, he ain't that good, but. So. You saw in the video, beautiful hog. This is my favorite eating fish in the Florida Keys. Absolutely fantastic. But make sure it's big enough and make sure you don't take more than one. This is going to be the table fare for tomorrow evening. Um, these are actually French grunts, but um, a lot of people don't like them. They're considered to be trash fish in a lot of. Uh, the inner circles but these fish are actually absolutely delicious and if you're ever down here i would encourage you to try them all right guys so we're back inside it was an excellent day got a little rough at the end but um, i'm really excited to get this dinner going i want to make a homemade brioche dough for some homemade brioche buns so we can do a nice uh, fried fish sandwich with the brioche bun and i'm thinking maybe a, like a jalapeno aioli so if you guys are interested in this recipe, you like the way it looks and you wanna try it at home with your own fish, I will uh, pause the video right here and put the recipe in. I would really appreciate some feedback from you guys on this. If you love the cooking part and not the catching, or you love the catching and not the cooking, you think these should be two separate videos? Either way, let me know. I'm gonna be putting out a new video every single Friday, so plenty more of this to come. Give me some feedback and subscribe.
from me to you.